Hello guys, what's up? And welcome back to my video Angga Rizky. And in this video, we will create the something awesome stuff. We can uh, we will create the e-commerce landing page using the Bootstrap HTML framework. Okay guys, I uh, have prepared my image. You can edit your image, the slider image. We need to slider image. Uh, its image have size dimension to be width 11 and 70 pixel, and the head is 500 pixel. And the product image, I have prepared three images right here. You can prepare first. Okay, guys. And I have installed the Bootstrap framework using the npm, and I have installed the Font Awesome. You can view or watch my another video how to install Bootstrap using npm or and how to install Font Awesome in Sublime or Bootstrap. Okay, guys. Uh, we need the documentation right here you can see the documentation into your site is getsbootstrap.com slash components slash hashtag navbar default okay we going to using the navbar default okay guys we can copy this copy it and then pass in your sublime We make it clean using the steps key for two times and we save it and now we prepare and we will change the container fully to be container okay and we create a new class right here your um, I'm going to my my brand my brand e-commerce is Sally save and preview Sally and I'm new create I, I and I will create a new class for my navbar like a Sally navbar you can follow me the class the brand is Sally and this is your class Sally navbar and we will remove anything else like a search we will move it to be right okay step by step and I will remove the right nav first right right we going to right this is the right remove save and preview and now change the navbar left to be navbar right and give the class into the ul class nav navbar nav to be navbar right and save preview okay and we can move the search bar into the right then the menu into the left save and preview yes we got it and we can edit the menu first I'm going to edit the menu this is the home and we can remove it sorry we can cut 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 it and change the drop down to be patch block and edit the contact save and preview 
like this guys you can change these pets like a uh, categories accessories woman men or anything else okay we we will edit it action have to be woman sorry man another action woman and this is the accessories and this is you can request request order and you can remove it remove save and preview okay and now how to customize this navbar and i will make it awesome navbar and we going to css sell navbar we can copy it and going to css padding top 30 pixel and padding bottom 30 pixel and the background white save and preview like this guys and we can change the home this home when the active when menus is active we can change it and we inspect element first inspect element and and we, we got it the class right here mm, I'm going to enough but enough Sally navbar and going to navbar nav and active a background blue just example color okay this good and we can change to be color blue river and the color have to be white like this I will remove the pets letter and now just create something else like a search you can search the product right here and we we will create the new button card right here okay guys going to index HTML and going to in the below form we can create the new menus btn btn success going to using the font awesome save and preview wow polo right it's not mean anything and we can move it into inside form save and preview this is your card and I will make the I will make the divider in here we going to create the new class in my form like a Sally form and we copy it mm. 
margin right 20 pixel and border border right 1 pixel solid and black save and preview sorry put sorry I was wrong and going to button type this is the Sally form button save and we copy it save and preview like this mm, we change the margin right to be padding right save and preview it's not working guys I will debug it and remove the class sorry I will test it remove the class and I know we can create the div class form group right here form group and close div and give the name is Sally card padding left border left and copy the class into the form group Sally card save and preview like this guys and we can change the padding left to be 10 pixel and the color is 90, 96 96 96 save and preview okay and we need the buttons this button have to be margin 10 pixel Sally form button inside the Sally navbar Sally navbar like this Sally navbar telephone button and margin right 10 pixel save and preview sorry 8 pixel save and preview remove it have to be the 7 pixel okay it's enough this is just the fader guys as you see and you can check the background this background card PTN card we're going to using the BTN card Sally BTN card and remove the BTN success going to Sally navbar and background is and border radius save and preview and the color have to be white save and preview okay guys here you button cuts like this and we can and we will design the image slider right here okay we next we create the slider okay. right here we create the slider Okay, going to your index.html and give make a new div cell uh, slider. Cell slider. And now create new class div class container container and we going to document bootstrap like a javascript sorry this is a capsa oh must capsa and carousel we can copy it 
and inside the container one two three four using the types of your keyboard and now we remove it remove carousel caption remove and the image src is img slider one dot jpeg and you can run ipsum dolor si amet and this is the we copy it img slider two and copy it save then preview so actually all right you can copy duplicate the slider image just the zip zip one to one to add and the indicators you can create the new indicators like a tree before the index start from 0 1 2 3 and 0 1 2 3 okay guys it's so easy right and now we go into index html and copy the sales leader class and go into css sorry sorry setting the background to be 96 96 96 and padding but padding top pixel and padding button to the pixel save and preview thanks I will change the background color to be the more soft color okay the code is e4 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 save and preview and as you see this is a uh, margin we can remove it like a uh, margin top min 20 pixel min 20 pixel all right here we go guys and so on in the iphone 6 plus iphone 6 plus sorry my language indonesia this is the iPhone 6. Okay, next we create the content, product content right here. So let's go. Going to index.html and create new create new div right here. Div class Sally content Sally content and we will make it to be 12 column and we divide for the left bar and the right content okay guys going to div class container and make the row sorry and make the div class call md12 we cut it create a new class div class row and inside the row we pass is div and we can divide it 
to the three column like as for the left bar we are using the call md4 and for the right content using the call md8 we just create the dummy content right here like a left bar and this is the right content Save and preview like this guys left bar and right content okay we create some ul menu right here and this is the right content okay guys go into index html and using the ul class and the le li and anchor hsref you can create the header header first header like a header for like a sofas and li anchor hsref and going to sofa one two three four save and preview like this guys like this and we can using the bootstrap component like a group list okay going to components group list this group like this guys you can use in the this class copy and paste right here this 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 is just dumb, dummy content okay guys save and preview like this and we will remove wait wait i will debug it why this is the why there's available the margin left okay i will debug it i will enable is and i will enable it okay guys we can remove this column remove this column save and preview like this and going to select content copy and going to css padding top 50 pixel and the padding button 50 pixel save and preview like this and you can create the header 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 text mm, i will create the le class header 5 like a sofas save and preview sofas we can create the create the header header active or you can use in the disable disable item copy and we can copy it copy and paste right here Sofas, 
save and preview like this guys this is just header title you can give the names so fast categories and then you can edit the contents mm, this is a jump just the dummy content and we can create new label for the new sofas spawn class page we can copy it copy and going to a sorry guys copy save and preview this is for new item ya yeah. and I, th I think so you can edit the background the backgrounds like edit this background this background okay and now we can duplicate the sofas categories we can duplicate it sorry duplicate copy and paste the below like a mm, mirror or anything else like you want save and preview you can copy it copy and copy save and preview like this guys and now we go into the right content yes of course the right content and we, can, we will create the product image right here okay guys okay guys create the we can create the new div right here like a div class call md3 sorry call md4 we can create the new class right here maybe later and we go into emg src and emg kit onejpeg and the class is emg responsive save and preview like this and now we can create the anchor like um we give the class but later like uh, title of beds kids room and we can create the p like a price save and preview like this guys we can move into the center going to text center give the class is text center and we need the diff right here text center I will make this title to be center and now we need to the margin right here going to image src and give the name of last Sally content sg item image copy and going to CSS Sally content SG item image and margin bottom 20 pixel save and save and preview like this guys we can duplicate it yes of course we can duplicate it to be 6 2 3 4 5 6 
and change the image save and preview here we go who nice guys you can edit this text sorry awesome kit room creative kit room clean kit room free kit room feel free <laughs> and now awesome and multi purpose save and preview like this and when going to iphone 6 plus like this nice guys and you can create the paging right here paging using the component and pagination we go into the pagination previous and next this is you can copy and paste inside the Sally content sorry and place into the call MD eight is below save and preview here we go who error and we can move it save and preview like this guys or you can using the this this sample copy and replace sorry guys okay. I am forget to give the knife right here and we can change it to be the default example copy and now paste right here save and preview like this or you can use in the this pagination okay guys you can read the documentation copy and paste right here and clean it save and preview like this you can make it center like a nav pass text center save and preview like this guys this is the awesome yeah and now and now the last elements we can create the footer i'm going to the footer you can see the footer into the css i think css and grid system or okay guys we don't need the documentation i will create new i will create the my own footer okay we can head it first going to div class Sally footer Sally footer and now going to div class container container and you can create the div class call md12 and make the text copyright copyright sorry angariski 
itself we can head text center save and preview like this you can edit using the css copy the class sally footer padding top 30 pixel and the padding bottom 30 pixel and the background color 12 left left and the color of text is have to be white save and preview bang we can reduce the padding bottom to be 12 pixels save and preview bang this is your footer and you can give the margin top 50 pixels save and preview okay guys congratulations you have designed the landing pads and in the next video we will design the single pads okay guys thanks very much if you have any question please let me know